Speculations that some APC members are plotting to make the former president of Nigeria, Good Luck Jonathan, the party's flag bearer in the 2023 presidential election, have been rejected by support groups working for Bola Tinubu and Vice President Yemi Osimbajo. Reports have it that the former president, Good Luck Jonathan, earlier informed some APC leaders that he would join the presidential race if President Buhari endorsed him. But will the ruling party appoint him as their consensus candidate? Well, we will find out as the weeks go by and we'll definitely bring you the updates here on NC Trends. Now, still on politics, something very interesting happened in Kenya earlier today when Mathare MP aspirant Kevin Kiyoko, also known as Bahati, broke down in tears while addressing the media at Luke Hotel, Nairobi. He claimed that the party had recalled the certificate he was given even after winning in all the opinion polls. The father said he was told to step down in favor of the sitting MP, Anthony Olo, a decision that he was not ready to make. Bahati complained of a fraudulent process in awarding the Jubilee Party nomination certificate, even after the party conducted free and fair primaries. And Kenyans on social media are talking about this non-stop. Let's check out some tweets. Malowa Owen says, it is okay to cry. It's even good. However, manipulation is wrong. And if you are called to serve people or represent them, you do not need to sell your soul for a ticket. This is wrong on so many levels at useful leaders. Here's another comment from Sylvia. She says, Bahati should focus on music. He cannot make it in politics. Ah, people are angry. <laughs> and Lord Abraham says, Bahati thinks he can cry his way into parliament. <laughs> this is not the kind of leaders that the Kenyan youth deserve. We deserve better than this kind of drama kings. Well, we call them drama. We just want to cut off to parliament. Matario will be lost if this is the kind of rubbish we want to elect. Wow. Away from that, the president of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, has emerged as the 72nd richest person in the world with an estimated net worth of $20.4 billion, according to the latest data on Bloomberg's Billionaires Index. Dangote, who is still the richest man in Africa for the 11th year running, was the only African billionaire who made the top 100 list of the world's 500 richest people. The majority of Dangote's fortune is derived from his 86% stake in publicly traded Dangote cement, but Nigerians seem to be indifferent about this new ranking. Here are some comments from Instagram. This one says, upon all his billions, go to his hometown. They are living in Chenyu. And then she laughs. It is all scam. <laughs> wow. Akwayemi Akini says, richest black man hails from the country where we have the highest population of poor people in the world. Help and feed the poor with your money rather than be happy parading yourself as the world black richest man. What do you think about this? And this one says, why would he not, why wouldn't he be so much rich when he's the only producing almost, when he's the only one producing almost everything in Nigeria, no other person is allowed to do it. You know, they whine us. Well, moving to the world of entertainment, Nigerian movie star Caroline Hutchins has revealed that popular blogger Linda Ikeji was part of the reasons her marriage crashed. Yeah, you heard that right. Caroline, who was married to billionaire businessman Mohamed Danjuma, made this known during one of the episodes of the reality TV show Real Housewives of Lagos while reacting to a statement made by one of the housewives, Laura Ikeji. Who is Linda's sister, by the way? Now, Laura said she did not vibe with the movie star because she insulted her sister Linda once. But this did not go down well with Caroline, who stated that part of the reasons her marriage broke was because of Linda Ikeji. She went on to say, Linda lied about my age. She lied that my daughter was for another man. I reached out to her and she did not care. From the very moment I got married, Linda was on my case. Now, the Nigerian blogger Linda Ikeji has now come out to debunk the claims in a lengthy post shared via Instagram page on Sunday, on Saturday, I beg your pardon. Linda Ikeji confirmed that her blog wrote about Caroline's fake age, but she denied publishing that Caroline Danjuma's daughter is not for her husband. Now, this back and forth has sparked mixed reactions from the online community, with one half defending Linda Ikeji and another half calling her out for the things she has done to them in the past. Here are some comments. This one says, conversation on Linda Ikeji conveniently dissociates the damage that she has done from your need to track gist. <laughs> it goes on to say, she built an empire on your eyeballs and now everyone is acting like they had nothing to do with it. Every time you clicked a link that belongs to Linda Ikeji, you were part of the problem. So he was saying, don't point fingers, you are one of them. Alamide says, 
Nina Ikeji ruined many lives and homes and she never felt any remorse or care because it's bringing food to her table and traffic to her blogs. She's testifying to what Caroline said. Ambassador says, Linda Ikeji really damaged a lot of career with her blog. She went after Whiskey, wrote different lies about him, and he confronted her on Instagram. Remember what happened that year? The matter had to be settled at the police station. She thought she could intimidate Whiskey with police, <laughs> but DPO was a Whiskey fan. Now that's all for tonight on NT Trends. Join us again next time. I am Sean Van Collin.